Hello, I'm Fred, and this is Wood Tools Workshop. I'm about to start a project that calls for me to drill a hole through the center of a dowel. I don't mean long ways, I mean crossways. And if I only had to do it one time, then I could probably get away with doing it freehand. But I'm liable to need to do this any number of times for different projects throughout my woodworking career. And so I thought, well, why don't I build a jig that would make it easier? Let's do that. What we want to do is cut a V-shaped groove in a piece of stock so that when we set the dowel in it, it'll stop it from rolling and hopefully from spinning. I've got a 2x4 here that I got from a pallet. Steve Ramsey would be proud. So I'm going to cut a 14 inch length of this and then because it's pallet stock it's pretty rough cut and we'll run it through the planer a few times. had it. I should have been about another eighth of an inch in one direction or the other, deeper or further out from the fence. Let's talk about triangles for a minute. A triangle that has a 90 degree angle is called a right triangle, and a triangle that has two sides the same length is called an isosceles triangle. And when you have a triangle that has both a 90 degree angle and two sides the same length, you have a speed square. Actually, it's called a right isosceles triangle. So these two sides are the same distance, and as a result of that, these two angles are 45 degrees. This is 90. The reason we care about this is because we want to cut a groove down a piece of wood, down the middle of a piece of wood, and we want to come in from both sides and have the saw blade meet in the middle and not leave part of it hanging like you saw earlier in the video. So imagine that this is your saw blade. This side of the, the uh, speed square is the saw blade tilted at 45 degrees. Remember that these two sides are the same length. So you can take the measurement, the distance from here down to the tabletop, and that is going to be the same distance from the point of the cut back to the edge of the blade where it uh, comes up out of the table. So now imagine you are going to cut, let's say a half inch trough, groove, whatever, out of the middle of a board that measures two and a half inches across. Okay, if you're cutting a half inch groove, then it's going to be a half inch from the point where the cut starts, back here, to the point where it meets in the middle. So, two and a half inches Half of that is an inch and a quarter. That's the middle, an inch and a quarter, and you're doing a half inch cut. So you should be able to take away a half inch, and what remains, three quarters of an inch, is the distance that you should set your fence on the table saw from the uh, emerging edge of the blade as it comes up out of the table. In order to have the point of the blade meet in the middle as you make first one cut and then the other corresponding cut. Let's have a look.
Ah, that's a better cut this time. A little more attention to detail got us right this time. Centering the bit with the jig is just a matter of lowering the drill bit into the trough until it's touching on both sides. So now we know that we can drill a hole down the center of a dowel with accuracy every time. But that isn't all we can do with this dowel jig. In the next video, we'll look at other options we have with it. Be sure to subscribe to Wood Tools Workshop on YouTube so you'll get notification of new videos as they get posted. Also check out our website, woodtoolsworkshop.com. I'm Fred, and this is Wood Tools Workshop.